next step that's going to be uh i will do a, a quick workflow in which uh i thought it was the ideal workflow very easy for anyone anyone uh who who does who use our, our writers and tool can 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 use and optimize their content and optimize their keyword research process and it will sh short and uh, it will save uh you so much time and effort um in in your research and in your um in your in in your uh uh, process of, of workflow. So let's start with um, let's let's say I'm a new person who will start with a begin a new niche, right? Um, let's start with this niche called indoor plant. So the first step I usually do is I will go to topic discovery. So what you want is you want to kind of have the first topic as your seed keyword, and after that below you want to build this thing called subtopics that kind of support that main keyword, right? So in under subtopic is there's several ways to build your subtopic. You know, the first way is actually just to go to keyword research and kind of look into this crazy amount list of keywords, like three thousand of them, um, and then you kind of you kind of kind of pick and choose, or you can look from Google keyword suggest, and then you kind of pick and choose by intent of, search intent of, of users. So so there's two ways. One, you look at competitor. Um, you look at all of the topics that your competitor are writing about regarding that topics. Um, and, and from that, you build your subtopics. So you have a couple of subtopics. And then the, another one is you go into Google uh, Keyword Database, which is the, the intent and the search intents and everything that from the user itself using Google for, for them to search. And from there, you kind of derive your subtopics. So two ways, right? One is competitor. And another one is is this. A lot of the time is they 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 align to each other because your competitor may have done all that research in order to come up with the topics that they have. But what I suggest is you start with topic discovery and then start to kind of view through the whole competitor analysis and see through what are they doing with the you know what are they writing about in regard to this keyword uh, main topic. So let's start with topic discovery. So I already did the in, indoor plans over here. So let's click on it. So you'll be able to see now everything that was sought by auto by relevancy. Um, I usually go for a search volume at the beginning just to want to see like, okay, which topic that actually relate to the indoor plants that has the highest amount of, of search volume, meaning that um, amount of people search intents and actually go into it. So now you have the first topic pop up is fig plants, right? Okay, now you get fig plants, indoor succulents, you got indoor ferns, you got snake plant water, uh, small indoor plants. And so you just kind of, of read through and then have a view. So you start seeing more snake plant coming up, right? Indoor bamboo, aloe vera, indoor herbs, uh, planter indoor plants, snake plants again, and you have snake plant poisonous, snake plant toxics, um, uh, and then you kind of uh, more snake plants online. And so from there, you kind of like, okay, form a view over your competitor analysis. So people, when they start writing about this topic, indoor plants, a lot of them talking about snake plants. So that could be your first subtopic, right? So same thing can be applied to fig tree over here. So fig tree, fig plants, that's when you kind of form, okay, that's the second subtopic I could actually look into. Right, and so you're like, okay, let's look at fake snake plants and what they have. So this one, fake uh, snake plants water, uh, snake snake plants water, and then you kind of look through the headlines. You see the relevancy score; it's quite high. And you're like, okay, this is quite cool. I want to add this into a list called snake plants, for example, which I kind of did already. Um, snake plant toxic. So uh, you can just add in here if you want. Add. And, and that's it. So so from, from indoor plants, now you have a subtopic called snake plants. This thing you can just note on, on, on a notepad uh, besides, right? So you start with indoor plants, you also have a bunch of idea with it, but we'll leave that for later because that's the main C topic. But now you have a subtopic called snake plants and then you can write down another subtopic is fig plants. And then there's the same process. You look for some headlines that you think is cool that you can use into your content writing. You save them all into a list. Because later on, you want to kind of review that list and on your brainstorm period, you can, okay, this headline is good, this headline is not good, this headline fit with this particular article, this headline doesn't, right? But this the topic discovery is so powerful that it's allowed you to really have a very amazing overview look of all your competitors, top 100 URLs out there that 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 trying to aim for this indoor plans topic. So you look through and you, you kind of have that bunch of 
other things that you can kind of get that um, uh, set by priority. So you have like uh, snake plants as a first priority, and then you have fig tree, and then you have feng shui, you have indoor grass, whatever, and then you have some of the topic that kind of lay out. So once you have that topic, what you're going to do is you go into Keyword Explorer, right? So what I do is when I go in there, first thing, I just go with the seed keyword. Go indoor plants, seed keyword, you got this. The total search volume go up to 165,000. You know, you know, a lot of time I actually don't even look for this data, you know, because um, to me, it's you want to go directly into this this frame. What is the end goal of of your keyword research and what's the end goal of your your content creator? Your end goal is to find the right keywords and write the right kind of content for you to rank in order for you to get organic traffic, right? Organic traffic, organic traffic, organic traffic. That's the end goal. So from organic traffic, you will gain more views, you will gain more sales, you will convert people and whatever. That's your funeral, um, the, the sale funeral once you get into the website. So that's the, if that's the goal, then you want to go directly in there and look for those keywords that has the golden keyword ratio. What are those? The golden keyword ratio is to define those keywords that has very low O in title or entitled data, right? Meaning that it has very low amount, uh, very little amount of, of websites that are actually using that keyword in their title. So that's first. And then you also, that keyword also have very high volume search, right? At the same time, meaning that, oh, wow, not many people using this keyword to write their content, but at the same time, there's a lot of people who are looking for that keyword. So you have the search intents, you have the volumes, and then you have the all entitled, and hence you got the KGR. We actually put in a lot of thoughts in developing this, our own algorithm to build this. We have to build our own class ratio. We have to build our own kind of algorithm uh, and our own technology. And it's not simple, right? If you really truly know how much work we put in, then you will decide to buy LTD time right now. <laughs> so come back to this. Um, the, where, if you look at this, you have level one, which is top value keywords. I always go for this. Uh, you have the range from zero to 30, All right? Let's go zero to 30, mean zero, max 30. And you apply, right? A lot of people could do something like you can, I don't want any keyword that lower, search volume lower than 100, so you can do minimum 100. And you can do some exclude, like just don't have the word Walmart, you know, in there. You know, or Amazon, whatever. So I just do one. So you gotta delete out all the Walmart, right? <clears throat> and so now you have all this KGR of this. But some of the own title, even though it's, it's high and it's good, like for example, this keyword indoor plants near me, or you can actually delete the near me too. Just me. Oops. Yeah, it's gone. So. If you, if you want some, like for example, in, if even for KGR when it's zero, but you still want some more density of the keyword that have even less competition, you can actually choose keyword or entitle that less than 10. That is, all of the keyword here that has own title of less than 10 with the KGR of zero, now you have yourself 288 keywords. That is amazing with total search volume of 177,000 um, uh, with usually is they are long long tail keyword. Here you can also exclude some of this keyword, but just for the, for, for the sake of a presentation, I'll just leave it there. Um, like you will have indoor plans with names and picture. This volume search is 1003 and there's only two in own title. I mean, how amazing it is. If you write a, 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 an article that regarding this, you'll be able to probably rank in like two weeks right? And you, you right away, you will be able to get search volume of this and get into your website. You know, indoor plants with purple leaf, for example, that's this. So now what do I do next? Once I select all this, I add them to a list, right? I just call it, let's say, um, indoor plants, KGR high or entitled or something, you know, I just kind of put it up like this, uh, save in there and I add, right? I already did, so I don't have to do it again. Um, so the keyword list, in the keyword list, <clears throat> you will to see it right away. In there, that is here. Yep, there, right? So that's first step. The first step, you kind of go into that. You get the own title, you get all the KGI, and now you get all this amazing, really good 
keyword that you can, you know that you'll be able to rank very quickly. Forget about backlinks, forget about all the other stuff. You know, it's very easy. It's very straightforward. It's just clicks away and just get it for you right there. And so once you get that, you go and you, you go into Keyword Importer, right? You don't have to do clustering right there with Keyword Explorer so that you don't waste your credits. You then over here, I read kind of add it in here. So here it is, the list of all, I mean, fire keyword because I kind of did some setting and, and that was different from previous one. But this is the golden keyword ratio that I kind of set out, right? So it's all listed here. So what do I do next? I just basically cluster this into different group of keyword. What, why do I do that? So I answer a few questions. The first, the first question is, how do you find keywords that you can run easily uh, right away? And so you use own title. The second question is, how do I cluster these keywords together in groups that I know that if I rank one keyword, I will rank for the rest of the keywords, right? So that's cluster. That's what cluster um, means. So from once you got the all in title in here, you will actually just click on cluster. And um, while well, I did it already, usually it's take a bit of computing power, so it's take a while. So I did it already. Then you'll be able to right away see these are all of the keywords that you will be able to write and use as article title. So like even unusual house plan for sales, that's something you can even write about. So indoor flooring plans year round. So see, if you take this, for example, it's a group of four keywords. These all four keyword, why do they being clustered together? They are clustered together is because if you go into their overview SERPs, you will be able to see the similarity in the ranking of this keyword here and this keyword here and this keyword here and this keyword here. So there, there's, we run the algorithm to make sure that these keywords have that similarity. What does it mean? mean? It means that if you actually be able to rank this keyword, you will rank for the rest of the keywords over here. So I just answered the second question, right? So the second question is, how do we group together these keywords so that they will actually be able to rank together? So that's for, that's cluster. So that's you done the second step. That's it, keyword research done. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to train anyone to do it for you. You have to tell someone that, okay, you have to check this and then you put them in the list. You have to check all these keywords that have similarity in here and there, but that's it for your C keyword. And then you do the same with your subtopic, okay? So with this, what you do is you export them out. You just export the all. And um, once you export them out, you can just get that and then use it to do what? to go into your content creator, all right? Create this indoor plant, right? Under there, see, I already see a, a keyword over here. I click it, the article, the keyword name is indoor plants, no sun, sunlight. Click on it. First thing is to build the outlines to use. So here, that's the final step of content creations. Once you have the keyword, it's the optimization of the outlines to use. So this will, this will be so much more advanced when we integrate GTP3. Um, so then you, you will be able to get in here and then you start building your, your layout. You can actually look into your list and then you see some of the headlines you already said before and you think, okay, this headline is great for this kind of article. My article is about indoor plants, no sunlight. So I'll write maybe, you know, uh, amazing list of indoor plants with no sunlight for your office right so right away you will integrate this keyword into your title uh and then and then you do that so then you kind of write some descriptions uh for it um with gtp3 uh, pro we probably be able to help you do exactly this um so having this title with the keyword include that already kind of guarantee you somewhat a way to get on top but then you can optimize your body you create your layout over here just as my tutorial and then you go to keywords to include, same thing. You go to, well, a lot of people was asking, actually, I, I go real quickly on this one. What, what why do this keyword are here? So we, we actually based on the relevancy score and the amount of usage for each of these keyword. And we kind of gather them and put them in here in the list of recommendation. So these are recommendation list. In fact, I just, I thought, you know, if for every, for every article, the, the, the things that make me most frustrated when I use other tool 
um, is that they list out so many keywords. It's almost unnecessary. You know, there's there's keyword that doesn't have any meaning to it. And if and you, there's no way you can ask someone to include 30 different keywords and each of them have to be three to two times, or three to four times. It, it's, it just doesn't make sense to us. You know, when we write this, we just like, just make sure we have a really good headlines. We have a really good structure and you, you make sure you cover some of the very high relevance keyword and you add, make sure you add the keyword that you already have in your cluster in the list. You save them in, in the list already and you add them in, in here. So then your keyword cluster are already being embedded into the keyword that must include. And, you know, sometimes you like, you just add your own, or you go to opposite keyword. So these are all there for you to choose, but it doesn't mean you have to, right? Um, we'll develop some some score so that it's, it's, it will be easier for you to kind of see. But I want to make this simple. You know, I don't want to, to create more data and make it more headache. It doesn't, you know, more data doesn't mean you will rank fast, you know? Correct data and quality data means that you will be able to rank fast. So that's our that's our belief since the beginning. Um, um, so over here, you will see what's this, which is the explanation. If you don't like any of this, or if you add something that you didn't like, you can just simply click reset to default and it will go back to the original list. All right, so once you're done with that, just save and begin writing. And that's it. So here's my questions. A lot of people was asking, is it possible to add a, a, a keyword ranker a function for this. So can you let me know in the comments, how much do you want that feature in our tool? It's just a simple kind of rank tracking for the things that you write. You know, the moment you write this, you kind of want to forget about it and you kind of want to track the the, the movement of it in, in, in subs uh, overview. Is it something that really make you feel like, oh my gosh, I would totally buy this if they have that feature? Or is it something just blah? Can you just let me know in the comments? Uh, and our teams can gather that feedback um, to kind of figure out. And also um, how much you like the new updates. Also, please shout out to us and let me know, let us know. We really appreciate that. Um, if we have, you know, if we, if we have more data, we'll be able to kind of build a better product um, uh, for you. So what I just did is a very basic workflows for the seed keyword. Now you go back and then you do the same thing with your subtopic. And so for the, for simply indoor plants, you were able to literally create with just what we did. Maybe we have to be able to create like 60 different articles already with maybe just two subtopics, right? That's crazy amount. And it's so simple. You don't, you didn't have to do, again, go into backlinks or check anything. No, just sim simple logic, simple uh, technology that helps you to get there uh, very quickly. All right. So, um, so that's one workflow. Well, I'm definitely a, a few workflows that would fit um, with different kind of uh, of, of, of um, situation and scenario that you may have, uh, or maybe a different kind of industry or whatnot. Um, we're trying to build that in later, and also we'll, once we integrate GTP three, this workflow will actually feel so much smoother, and you you will feel like you don't need any other tool besides besides our tool. Um, that's our goal, actually. You don't have to move anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. You just need to kind of do everything on our tool, even your content management stuff uh, and all that. So that's our direction. That's where we want to be.